and in this video guys we're going to continue working and discussing file handling in C programming so from the previous tutorial so actually this is part 2 of the file handling video tutorial and in the previous tutorial we um, discuss the basics of file handling and um, also discuss the five major operations that can be performed um, on a file so for example the creation as the first operation and then opening reading writing and closing a file and also we discuss the steps for processing a file so basically if you want to uh, handle files inside your C program you need to declare a file pointer variable as the first step and then the second step will be opening a file using the fopen function and then right after that one process the file so for example you want to count the number of lines um, inside of that particular file or you want to add something to that file you can do that so that's the processes or processing of the file and then of course closing the file using the fclose function and from the previous tutorial also we briefly uh, discussed the different functions that we could use when we are handling files in C so for example the get C the put C um, get W and put W and the other functions so in this video guys I'm just going to show you how you can uh, read the content of a file and display it in your simple program so we're just gonna use this main function right here so I have here the main dot C um, file or uh, yeah main dot C file and then we're just gonna use this main function right here just to get the contents of our file so as you can probably remember from the previous tutorial we already created the file inside our file system and let me show you that okay so I have here the file and then file name that text and it contains the text um, hello world as you can see here so this is written from our C program and in this video we're going to read this by using also our C program so in order for us to again if you want to handle files in our C the first step is to uh, declare a pointer variable so the pointer variable goes like this so we need to uh, call on this file class and then add the semicolon I mean the um, asterisk or star symbol as you can see here and then of course the name of your variable so I'm just gonna name it uh, file name and then semicolon at the end so this is our pointer variable as I've said this is the first step for handling files in C we have to declare a pointer variable and then uh, the next step uh, since we're getting the content of a file uh, I just want to assign the content of a file into a single variable so for example I'm just going to declare here another variable uh, car or char ch or the name of the variable is ch and then I'm just going to assume the length um, 100 there you go and then semicolon so basically this particular variable will hold the contents of our file okay next line will be um, using the file name variable right here which is our pointer variable and then the second step in the process is of course open the file by using fopen function we already used this function from the previous video so in here we're just going to specify uh, specify the name of the file which is file name that text as you can see here so that will be file name that txt and then we're gonna use the um, R symbol okay that's basically um, reading the 
file name or I mean the file coming from our file system and then the next step is of course if we want to print the contents of our file so we're just gonna use the print a function right here and then specify the um, format specifier percent s because we're going to display um, character or strings of character here coming from our file and then comma and then uh, we discuss the function uh, in the previous tutorial f gets f gets okay so basically this function um, read string of characters from a file and this particular function takes a, a few parameters so for example we're just gonna um, specify the far, uh, parameters here so for example the variable ch that's the variable that will hold the contents of our file and then so for example 50 this is the count of characters that we're going to allow to be saved in our um, char ch variable and then of course the file name okay and as always if you are working with file since we're opening the file here we need to use also the closing function which is f close right here and then we're going to specify the file name right here okay so for example the file name and that's about it and we can run our program right now let's just save this and build and run so it's going to output hello world so for example just to show you a basic example let's just fill out our file hello world this is a string from a file so we're just going to um, test this so save and let's run again our program okay so as you can see here hello world comma and then this is a string coming from a file as you can see here so basically uh, we successfully um, read or get the contents of our file name that txt file okay so now there are other operations that uh, you may want to do in your um, file so for example you want to like count the number of lines that's possible again this particular symbol right here is uh, like opening a file in a read mode okay so r that's basically what we use here so as i've said there are also other functions that we could use when trying to handle files in our c program and of course f gets is one of them but there are also so for example we have um, get c so this reads a character from a file Okay, we also have um, get w, so this will be for reading an integer, and we also have um, f gets, that's what we used here. So f gets reads string, um, string of characters from a file, okay? And then, of course, there are other functions that you could use to write. This is writing into the file. So we have um, put C um, 
put W. So basically, put C, write a character a file, and then put W, write an integer to a file. And then we have F print F for writing. And we also have um, F puts, okay, to um, write string of characters into a certain file. So I hope you understand the basics of handling files in C. And of course, as always, if you have questions, you can ask questions in the comment section below. And we will try to answer your queries. And thank you again for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.